Hello, welcome to Remington TV, Smash Tracks of Time, Liverpool just beat itself up at 2-1 at St Mary's. Uh, but this will be the ringer again there, uh, what's it like at the end? Uh, first half, I thought we were a bit all over the place again really. Uh, mid that midfield, mid James Milner was dropping deep in, he was on the back line again. And we just couldn't get the ball out, so I thought they were all over us, like Chelsea were in the press. Um, and we just looked short enormous in the field again. We, we couldn't get that link up with you know the front three. Uh, it's happened a few times so far this season, and uh, we rode our luck a bit at times. So I thought we were just, we just giving them the ball and creating opportunities for them. And you know if we were a match of our own downfall. Ultimately, we did create one or two chances. Uh, I think most had a chance early on. He couldn't have scored. Adrian we had a mixed game, I'll say. Um, he made some really good saves, one at really close range, which you know you, got, you do have to applaud him for. Although he did pull it up a bit later on. Uh, and the call just for our time was completely crucial. He could argue against the run of play, but we just weren't very good, as, as I mentioned before. And I just need to kill Southampton off. Uh, come out of second half, we're full of confidence, we changed a few things around. We got on the ball, we started to see that Liverpool in control of the game, of keeping all the possession, breaking teams down, and just being happy to have the ball, really. Southampton were chasing. And that goal, as I said, just completely killed him. We started to chance after chance, and that game should have been dead and buried. You know, 2 3 0, Boyd Funer has a glorious chance. In the inside Dick Sharp box, he should score. and um, He makes up for it at the end, you know, gets another goal and another mad pass to celebrate, which I have to love. And then again, you know, it should have been Dennis Berry, but another chance after chance. Maddie Sally was running in behind, Sal was getting chances as well. He needs to learn to use his right foot, in my opinion, sometimes. Um, half back, can't really complain. And then just Adrian makes hash fit, so he's just trying to fit in with the rest of the goalkeepers that have made errors in this club. Um, but I think that will happen. We saw signs of it early in the first half, and that communication that he has with that back four will come to the last minute, a week and a half. Mistakes will happen. It's just, it's just, it's just a shame when it's at such a risk when you're playing, you know, a big game. Every game's big for Liverpool these days. You can't afford that one person. You don't get time on the ball uh, to give a chance. Sorry, it's Danny Ings. We know that he will press and press all day. If he's coming towards you. Don't mess around with the ball. Get rid of it. Um, after which, you know, the crowd. I got the crowd up. They came on top of us couple of ways but we rode it out and it's the sound of Liverpool again not playing very well particularly in the first half riding out and grinding out results and it's such a big three points for Liverpool so early on in the season you know plus pressure on everyone else in Egypt that have got big games against big teams so far this weekend and Liverpool got three points and ultimately that's all that matters we won't worry about the performance in, in two three weeks time it won't matter as I said come back from Turkey to grind out that result to have that performance been completely goosed and some players showed it um, I think it's great for Liverpool so don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below like and subscribe and we'll see you soon